Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about some uncommon facts about vitamin D, okay? I'm just very interested in vitamin D, so I created a video on it because I just think it's interesting. Maybe you might as well. Vitamin D is responsible for the absorption of calcium primarily by 20 times in your small intestine. So uh, without vitamin D, you get a certain amount of absorption, but not near as much as if you had vitamin D. That's a lot of absorption going on there. Uh, but a lot of times people don't realize that vitamin D also increases the absorption of iron, magnesium, zinc, and phosphate. So these other minerals. So it's pulling a lot of minerals because of what it's doing. It's mineralizing your bone and supporting the other tissues in the body with the minerals that you need. Okay, so it's kind of like a, the dump truck that delivers the minerals to the right place. Okay, but vitamin D has to be activated through an enzyme in your liver and in your kidney. Even the sun that's coming in, you don't really get vitamin D unless it's converted into the liver and the kidney. So you need the liver and kidney to convert it and make it active. So that means that if there's liver damage, kidney damage, fatty liver, cirrhosis of the liver, you're on kidney dialysis, chances are you're not absorbing vitamin D, okay? It might be building up as a toxic thing, but it's not really doing its function. Also, vitamin D is very important in controlling your immunity to viruses, especially the lung, okay? So if there's a respiratory virus, uh, boy, if you took some vitamin D, that would put that thing right back in remission, hopefully. But yeah, so it controls the immunity, especially in autoimmune diseases. So if you have an autoimmune disorder where your immune system is attacking itself, take vitamin D, very important. Also, Vitamin D can turn off asthma symptoms really fast. Now, the reason for that is that vitamin D is not really a vitamin. It's a precursor to making hormones, specifically steroids, specifically cortisol. So basically, it helps you make cortisol, thereby um, you know, helping the, the anti-inflammatory effect of your lungs. Because think about what is the remedy for asthma? It's steroids. It's prednisone. It's an inhaler. So all you're doing is you're just naturally getting it from vitamin D. Okay, you're building it back up. Um, vitamin D is important in making strong bones. If you're deficient in vitamin D, your bones will be weak, fragile, they'll fracture easily, and they will, it will bend. You'll get bowed legs. You ever see people with bowed legs? That's a vitamin D deficiency. Or even the bending of the spine, some crookedness of the spine, like someone's hunched back, that's vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D also prevents musculoskeletal pain, chronic muscle and skeletal pain. So if you know people, maybe your grandmother or your parents that have always had this chronic pain in their joints or their muscle, they're stiff and achy, start taking vitamin D, okay? Get a lot of sun as well. So make sure when you take vitamin D, you always take vitamin K2 at the same time. Why? Because vitamin K2... Um, helps deliver that calcium all the way into the bone. Because if you only take vitamin D3 and calcium, which is a big mistake, because what will happen, you'll start pulling all this calcium up into the blood and you'll get hypercalcemia. Okay, so now what that means is like you're getting a lot of soft tissue calcium. We need that K2 to drive it into the bone. So you want a combination of things. Um, how do you know if you have hypercalcemia? Increase excessive urination, increased thirst, insomnia, nervous, itching. Those are all symptoms of too much calcium in the wrong place. And what's interesting, these are very similar to blood sugar symptoms as well, like high insulin. I wonder if there's a connection, right? So anyway, um, I hope this was informative and uh, uh, put your comments below and thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.